Guests staying at the Beach House Golf and Racquet Club in Myrtle Beach now have to find a new place to stay. This after the board of directors and management company for the resort made the decision to close it due to quote unforeseen structural damage. WMBF News reporter Tegan Brown now joins us live from the resort. Tegan, certainly no shortage of questions around this closure now, but I know you've been talking to a lot of folks there. What are the facts we know at this point? Yeah, Rachel, Capital Vacation Resort Management, which manages this building, says that there is damage to the portico of it. And the only way that that damage can be addressed is with the installation of a shoring system. But that shoring system is going to take a few weeks to put in. So for right now, guests that were planning on staying here will have to find somewhere else. Some of the timeshare owners we spoke with at the Beach House Golf and Racquet Club say they've been visiting year after year and haven't had any issues. But Thursday afternoon, Capital Vacations Resort Management and the Board of Directors for the resort told guests they had to leave. That's caused both guests and timeshare owners some stress, both mentally and financially. So far for last night and tonight and then for the places I had to get for the people that were coming from my four units next week it's cost me over four thousand dollars. Capital Vacation says professionals say a shoring system is needed to address issues found in the portico building. That's where the fitness center, front desk and laundry services are. Capital Vacation says they've ordered the shoring system, but it will take a few weeks for it to come in and get installed. The management company says they made the decision to temporarily close the building for the safety of everyone there. But some residents are still unsure what's going to happen next. I've been upset, but I, things happen. Uh, it'll be uh, interesting to see what the response is because we've had to spend a lot of money that we didn't plan on spending. A structural engineer will be brought in to get final approval after the shoring system is installed. Guests who were planning on coming to the resort in the next weeks have been alerted of the temporary closure, but those who were already here had no other choice but to find another hotel or go home. Paid the money to be here. Been paying it for, well, I've been paying mine for 40 years. And to get cut short like this after you've been planning it all year long is... It's not real good. And Capital Vacation says that the decision to close was made out of an abundance of caution and that in order to reopen, a structural engineer has to give a positive safety report on all structures. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Tegan Brown, WMBF News.